Neurodivergent children often have a harder time staying regulated. If you have a child with ADHD or autism, you most likely know about it. Dysregulation is hard on everyone. The parents, the child, the siblings, the teachers, everyone. So what does a regulated child look like? You will see more of the following. Calm, engaged, motivated, ready to learn, emotionally flexible, happy. In contrast, what does a dysregulated child look like? Well, you will see more of the following. Impulsive, hyper, reactive, argumentative, meltdowns, difficulty focusing, emotionally rigid, unhappy. These behaviors are on the continuum. They fluctuate. For example, impulsivity may never go away, but it will fluctuate based on various circumstances. Once you understand what makes regulation better or worse, you can be more intentional in how you support your child. Think of regulation as a tank of gas that allows the car to go places. If your child's regulation tank is empty, you'll get more of the behaviors I mentioned earlier. So I invite you to reflect on what drains your child's regulation tank and what fills it. This will help you to see patterns. The fluctuations could be related to transitions or certain environments, certain demands, certain people, certain sensory inputs. What does your child need more of or less of throughout the day to function the best they can? Do they need more physical activity, more downtime, more tactile play, more structure? You won't be able to change everything, but it will become easier to anticipate your child's needs and understand how to best support them. In my experience, regulation is often the biggest missing link with ADHD and autism. I have worked my entire life with neurodivergent children and their families, first as an occupational therapist and now as a parent coach. Every family I have worked with benefited from learning more about regulation and how it affected their child and how to best support it. So what I'd love to see in the comments is what drains your child's regulation tank and what fills it.